Pistons fans, we are back in the building. After what seemed like an eternity over the offseason, Pistons basketball is finally back and it started with the bang. Tonight, the Detroit Pistons blow out the Milwaukee Bucks at home in their preseason opener, 120 to 87. This was a fun game to watch, man. Okay, let's get into it. So for starters, Tobias Harris did not play tonight due to illness. So the starters were Kay Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Tim Hardaway Jr., Simone Fontecchio, and Jalen Dern. For the Bucks, Giannis did not play tonight. So let's get into the game. So the Pistons started this game very sluggish. After opening the game on a Jaden Ivey corner three, the Bucks went on a 20 zip run to go up 20 to three, and it wasn't pretty. But the Pistons stormed back, fueled by the defense, and cut the lead to eight by halftime. And they pulled ahead in the third quarter once they settled in and played their game. Pistons fans, let me talk to you for a second. This is why you don't overreact after three minutes of the first preseason game with an entirely different team. This is why. After that bad first quarter start, Pistons Twitter were losing their minds. They were ready to pack it in. But this is what happens. The defensive intensity was lacking. The Bucks couldn't seem to miss a shot. Dame was hitting everything. They just couldn't seem to miss. But slowly but surely, the Pistons defensive intensity picked up and they worked their way back into the game. Ball movement was definitely a point of emphasis for JB Bickerstaff, you could tell. The ball was hopping. You could see guys that really bought in. On a few plays, guys were actually a little too unselfish and passed up open shots, but you can live with that because you'd rather have guys that have that unselfish mentality than being more focused on getting their own shot. And as the year progresses, the ball movement is going to get crisper and crisper. The crowd tonight, the crowd at LCA was really into this game, man. If you saw the game, you could hear the excitement every time the Pistons would turn the Bucks over or make a great defensive play. And that's how we get down in Detroit, man. Defense first, always. We love the exciting dunks. We love the threes from 35 feet, right? But we're always defense first. If you strap up on the defensive end, Pistons fans are gonna show up every single night to support their team, win or lose. So, who stood out tonight? Let's start with Cade. Cade finished with 13 points, four assists, four rebounds, a steal and a block in 24 minutes on 39% shooting. So he had a solid game. It wasn't his best, right? He got off to a slow start like the rest of the team. But once he settled down and got into his rhythm, he looked like Cade. He didn't play a lot tonight as we didn't expect, but he was kind of able to get his offense going in that second quarter. And he got his midi game going, which I think is going to be a big part of his offense this year, along with the floater game, which he's been working on this offseason. We're going to see a lot of that floater in the pick and roll offense with Jalen Duran when the defense plays drop coverage and leaves Cade up with space to get shots up. In the second half, though, Kay made a lot of good defensive plays, including a block at the buzzer to end the first half. So overall, Kay looked pretty good. Jaden Ivey, man. <laughs> Jaden Ivey, Jaden. My guy, Jaden, man. So everybody knows that I've been a huge fan of Jaden Ivey since Purdue, right? Even though it was a preseason game, everybody saw tonight or was reminded of his true potential. He has a chance to be a really, really good player in this league, man. So what do we see from Jay tonight? J.I. finished with 22 points on 8 shots. 22 points on 8 shots. 2 rebounds, 1 assist, and a monster block on Damian Lillard. On 75% shooting overall, and a perfect 3-for-3 three three from 3-point three range. He was easily the best player in this game. He was just getting to the rim and the line at will. No one can stay in front of him or keep him from getting to the cup without following him, and you can't teach that. We all know his shooting was maligned for much of last season, but a lot of it was due to poor spacing. And he's actually a much better shooter than I think he gets credit for. I'm predicting a breakout season from Jaden Ivey. I know it's only one game, but considering what we saw from him in his rookie season, and then seeing the struggles he went through with the situation he was put in last season, I truly believe that he has a great chance to win most improved player this year. He already looks comfortable in his offense, man, because he's been given the freedom to make plays. Tonight, I just saw a confidence in Jaden that I didn't see all last season. And I credit JB Bickerstaff for that. Tonight, Jaden was just deliberate. He, he didn't look to be thinking. He was just reading and reacting. And he also looked like he just enjoyed playing basketball again. I'm expecting a really huge year from him, man. Even though it was just one preseason game, I've seen enough to confidently say that I think he's going to finish at least top three in most improved player this year. Jalen Duren. Jalen Duren was solid. He finished with eight points and nine rebounds in 23 minutes. He struggled early with Brooke Lopez's length, um, like a lot of centers do, because Brooke is long. But he was able to get his offense going a little bit, and he defended the paint a lot better than what we've seen. Let's move on to the Rook, Ron Holland. So Ron Holland tonight finished with 10 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block on 40% shooting in 26 minutes. Ron Holland is going to be very good for this team. He's one of those guys who finds a way to just impact the game. 
he does have things to work on we understand that his shooting ball handling things like that but but he's a guy who can do a lot of the little things that can help you win basketball games tonight he had a few steals turning defense into offense he took a charge he's uh, he's a very willing passer he seems to enjoy making the extra pass to the right guy too he's gonna be fun to watch this year marcus sasser also looked good tonight we know he's at his best when he's aggressive offensively and we all know he's a bucket but many of us just wanted to see how capable he would be running an offense and getting others involved and tonight he did both he looked for his own offense but he also made some nice steady plays for his teammates so i think if he continues to do that i can see him earning a spot in the rotation this season so overall it's just one preseason game we get that right but what i was looking for tonight more than anything was three things the defensive intensity spacing and ball movement check 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 after that sluggish start the pistons maintained the defensive effort for most of the night and it led to a lot of easy baskets the additions of guys like malik beasley and having simone fantecchio have a full training camp to get more comfortable with this role just from that alone you could already see how much easier it's going to make things for guys like Jaden ivy to attack driving lanes and get easy buckets and then thirdly the ball movement the ball was hopping man and guys are just enjoying making plays for each other. That's what I noticed. They really enjoy just moving the ball, making the play to the right guy. And that's a great sign, especially in your first preseason game together. And as a result, the Pistons turned a 17-point deficit into a 33-point win. Preseason or not, that's impressive. This team was very much different from the one I watched last season. And that's why I'm very excited about watching this team this season. And that's a wrap for the night. The Pistons beat the Bucks 120-87 to to move to 1-0 in the preseason. The next game comes against the Phoenix Suns on Tuesday, October 8th at home, and King and I will react to that game once it concludes. As always, thank you all for watching, and until next time, Detroit vs. Everybody. Peace. I'm on my way up and I'm not gonna stop. We headed straight to the top in the low. I gotta face it. I got no time to wait.